Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 fighting games that boast the heftiest rosters. It's an all-you-can-punch buffet. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Christy Montero when putting this list together, Tekken Tag 2 was one of the first to pop into our heads. This game was already known to be one of the most complex fighting games on the market due to the sheer number of fighters on the roster. Totaling up to 59 fighters, players had a sea of possible teams to learn. Don't worry, we did the math for you. You have a total of 3,422 pairs of fighters to learn. Or you can just do what we do and just play the game with only one fighter. Oh wait, now you have 3,481 permutations to learn. You win. The King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. Oh, we first thought that King of Fighters 14 or even 15 would be the ones with the most fighters. Surprisingly, this remake tops every game in the franchise, clocking in at 62 characters. Essentially, what you have is a compendium of every King of Fighters character squeezed into this one title, at least up until this point. While future entries since have strived for some 30 or 40 playable characters, none have really come close as unlimited match here. And of course, not every character here has been brought into later titles. Mortal Kombat Armageddon Much like King of Fighters Unlimited Match, Mortal Kombat Armageddon took the opportunity to throw together an all-star roster. By including every character that had appeared in a Mortal Kombat game up to this point, Armageddon delivered a roster of 64 fighters. However, this feat did come at a monumental cost as animations were reused, character endings were nothing more than simple voiceovers, and finishing moves were just generic as hell. It did shine in a few spots, like with motor combat, but overall, Armageddon damn near killed the franchise. Liu Kang wins. Def Jam, fight for New York. Hey, yo, I'm built to smash you, partner, and I'ma break your goddamn neck. Whereas Mortal Kombat nearly succumbed to its own Armageddon by focusing on a meaty roster, Def Jam Fight for New York maintained quality while keeping its roster beefy. Capping out at 67 playable characters, players had a wealth of fighters to choose from. You had Flavor Flav, Ice-T, Ludacris, Carmen Electra, Method Man, Lil' Kim, Danny Trejo, and even old Snoop Dogg as one of many fighters to smack fools around with. Good thing the mechanics were kept as simple as possible, or else you would have Smash Brothers level wars about what's balanced and what isn't. Speaking of... <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Mario. We're sure many of you were thinking this title the second you clicked on the video. After all, this was the fighting game that marketed itself with the phrase, Everyone is here! The base roster was already huge at launch with a total of 77 characters, however, post-launch DLC would up that number by 12, bringing the total to 89 fighters, and that's including Echo Fighters and fighters that transformed or swapped out with other characters like Pokemon Trainer and Pyra and Mithra. It is the largest roster in the franchise, and it is also a hell of a celebration for video games as a medium. Just looking at this game still feels unreal. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 The Dragon Ball games have all been pretty good about including most characters fans would expect. And it's not just the main cast, some games give you access to minor, supporting, and even one-off characters. You want to see Hercule beat the snot out of Cell and win? You can do that. But of every Dragon Ball game, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 has the largest roster in the franchise. You can choose from 98 fighters, and if you count forms, it brings the total up to 161. That's a lot of yelling. Dragon Ball Z 
Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Considering how long Naruto has been around with a constant cycle of new characters, it's almost no surprise that it's got Dragon Ball B. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 lived up to the series name by including nearly every character to ever appear in both Naruto and, via DLC, Boruto. By the time post-launch support was over, we were looking at a colossal roster of 121 fighters. Yeah, at that point, who, who cares about game balance anymore? Tobol 2 Considering this was a game developed for the first PlayStation console, it's really astounding to find out how big Tobol 2's roster is. This is a game where you have roughly 200 fighters to mess around with. How does this game achieve that number on such an archaic console? Well, in the same method it manages to run at 60 frames per second, polygonal models with very little to no detail. Less power needed to render everything on screen means more space for other things. And so, you get an absurdly huge roster like this one. <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs. 2 Overboost <laughs> This ridiculously titled arcade game has gone through several updates, revamps, remixes, rebrands, and whatever else you could possibly want to call it. Launching under the equally ludicrous title Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme Versus, players only had access to roughly 40 suits from the franchise. But this arcade game has been around since 2010, and has received six massive updates over the years. Under the most recent title, Versus 2 Overboost, the game now has more than 220 suits available to pilot. Again, why even bother worrying about game balance at this point? And lastly, WWE 2K24. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. You know, Gundam 2 Overboost was going to be our top spot for the list here. Not that we do many rankings to begin with, but then, 2K24 came out. This game's roster is massive. That's quite big. Even if you were to remove the wrestlers that have a second or third version of themselves from a different era, you still get a roster way, way bigger than most fighting games. How many exactly? Ladies and gentlemen, WWE 2K24 is the fighting game with the biggest roster clocking in at more than 240 wrestlers from across WWE history. Prepare for some serious analysis paralysis when you start playing this game. Tonight's loss will stay with Raquel Rodriguez for a long time. Have you played any of these ridiculously oversized games for yourself? Let us know down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day.